Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm Chris, and well, I need to weed whack, but if you've been following my videos at all, you know my weed whacker is not running quite right. I ordered some parts, but it's going to be another couple weeks before the parts get here. I didn't realize where I ordered them from. From. For. From. Yeah. So, I have some other alternatives that, well, work pretty well. This thing here, I don't know what this is called. I don't know where I got it from. I've had it forever. I've used this when I was a kid. It's kind of dangerous. It's like working on your golf swing, but with a blade on the end of it. And if you hit your shins with this, you're in for a world of hurt. If you hit someone walking up on you that you didn't know was there, they're in for a world of hurt. So you gotta use this thing with caution for sure. But you know what, let's, well, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's do this real quick. That's a little bit of a workout. Now there's one thing I regret doing. I used to have a fire pit over here. A big tree fell down and it was too big for me to cut off. That's what those big logs are from. And well, I finally did cut it off, but I used to have those big, huge tree log, I don't know, fallen tree, kind of set up to encircle my fire pit that was there. And then I had the bright idea of planting Japanese knotweed around kind of it looked cool it was a bad idea now if you don't know japanese knotweed is very invasive i don't recommend messing with it whatsoever it just keeps coming back i mean it looks cool it looks like bamboo or something like that but it, it is just way too invasive it spreads like wildfire and it takes over everything and it becomes a pain in the butt so unless you want a natural barrier i don't recommend messing with it and you could try pulling it up, but it usually breaks at the base. The really only good way to pull it up and get rid of it is to dig it up by the root. And those roots could go, I mean, if it's well established, three feet down. So you got a little bit of work cut out for you. Now see that root even broke off, but it's a pretty hefty root and it just keeps coming back and coming back. I definitely try to pick my battles with this thing. It's a nice cool day today. It's supposed to rain. So doing this on a hill, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work just pulling them, let alone digging them up. So I, I choose my battles so that I can win this war. And before long, well, you're pretty much done for the day. You're tired, you're tuckered out. You got a nice pile of Japanese knotweed. Now, if you're gonna dispose of it, I suggest letting it dry out first, making sure it's completely dead before you dispose of it. Even if you're gonna let your town take care of it, because you don't want that spreading somewhere else. I mean, it's pretty, pretty invasive. I usually just throw it back over the edge here, let it turn back into compost and reuse it, but I let it dry out first. So I think we're pretty much done here for today, and I'll see you on the next one. I got a little bit more work to do, so I'm gonna get to it before it starts raining. If there's a good thunderstorm, you're gonna see it. So definitely check out some videos, subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. I'll see you on the next one.